Welcome back guys. In this lecture, we'll be seeing the different taxation options and I'll be helping you out on how to set up your taxation settings on your e-commerce website. So to do so, just click on this tax section. Now at present, there is two options at the top. Yes, I will enter prices inclusive of tax and exclusive of tax. Now what does this mean? Suppose you come to the demo website now here it is $49. So if you want uh, uh, the product, the price of the product at present is $49. And if you want to display the uh, price of the product inclusive of tax, suppose uh, tax is around 10%, then it will uh, show around $55. Okay, so that is what it basically means. The product, the price which is shown on your on your website will also include the tax. So, but we want uh, to exclusive of tax because we don't want to increase the price of the product on the page. We will, uh, that tax price will be shown uh, when the user is trying to check out from the website. So at that time it will be shown. So make sure it is, no, I will enter prices exclusive of tax. Now the another option is calculate tax based on and here you have to select different options like uh, based on which address the shipping address billing address or shop base address so i am selecting shipping address shipping tax class uh, you know there are different shipping tax class on cart items so don't do anything for now just make sure shipping tax class based on cart items is selected for now okay you can uh, add additional classes over here. We'll see classes uh, now after some time. Don't worry. Now here it says display prices in the shop excluding excluding tax or including tax. So select excluding tax for both the option. Now it says display tax total itemized or single total select itemized. I'll show later how, what is the difference between itemized and single total. For now select itemized and click on save changes after you have done all the changes on this site. Now come here on the standard rates. Now we here we have to uh, add the tax rate. Now let me show you how it happens. Just click on insert row. Now first option is for country code. You have to put in your country code. For example, country code for India is IN. And when I put IN, I get this option India. So it is, uh, it means I am right. Now, if you, if you guys know today is around 5th of July and just three or four days ago, a new tax system, a new tax regime has been levied on india which is gst so we will be uh, setting everything here based on the latest tax system uh, which is the gst tax system now all the sales tax vat everything has been excluded okay if you are in another country most of the country i guess follows gst most of the countries so it will be uh, beneficial for all of you uh, even if you're watching from different country now here you have to select a state for now if you know the gst system in india it is both the it is actually not the gst system it is different kind of system but they call it gst system here we have both central tax and state tax so first now in this option we will be setting up central tax so leave the state code leave the post code leave city everything don't put anything over here just come to the tax rate and put 12% or 15%, 18%, 28%, whatever the GST rate uh, applies on your product, put in that rate. If you don't know, go on Google search or uh, ask your CA, ask some expert, they will let you know what is the tax rate for your product. Now here you have to enter the tax name. So I will put in CGST. This is basically the central general sales tax. Uh, if you research, you will know that and priority, uh, make sure it is one. May, that means this is the most priority tax. Okay. And it will be this tax will be con uh, this tax will be calculated on uh, while shipping. So make sure shipping is ticked mark. Now again, insert another row. And in the country code, again, I will put in India. 
now here i will put in mh for maharashtra because now i will also show you how to put uh, you know uh, gst for state transaction so put in maharashtra that was the central tax and this is the state tax now every state has different gst for themselves now we are setting up maharashtra leave the postal and zip code that if you leave this it it means that it applies to whole of maharashtra and you also have to leave this city which means all the cities which are which comes under maharashtra it is applied to all of them now in the rate put in 12 or whatever the rate applies to your product and in the tax name uh, you have to put sgst if you are from india then you this is what you have to put and in the priority put two okay there are two arrows top and bottom when you click on the top arrow it increases so put two priority okay now click on save changes fine so we have successfully created two tax system because we haven't created or we haven't uh, created any product in in our website i'll show you in the demo website how this tax system works so let's come back to the demo website let's go to our cart shopping cart as you can see we have this men's blue short sleeve t-shirt uh, per piece is $49 and the quantity is 2 right here you can see the total price is $98 okay now here everything will be totaled it says subtotal is $98 now shipping rate is $4 uh, we will be doing this shipping system in the next lecture in this lecture we are seeing this uh, taxation system now here you have CGST that is central tax and here, here you have SGST that is state tax now automatically as you can see the uh, uh, tax rate are automatically uh, created they are automatically calculated and we are getting a total amount okay so this is very very helpful so this is how you do the taxation system if your country is following you know uh, VAT or whatever then you can also put that let me show you that also just click on insert row suppose you're in us so you put in you know us for united states of america and suppose you want to charge the same amount of uh, vat throughout the country then you leave this state uh, code or if you want to you know charge different code for different different tax for different uh, uh, states then you can put in the state code uh, over here you can also put in the zip code if you want and in the rate suppose uh, it is 8% VAT so in the tax name you will put in VAT and in the priority it will be 1 now click on save changes okay so this is how you will do the VAT setting and all those settings okay guys so this is it for the taxation system uh, in this in the next lecture we'll see how to set up shipping settings in WooCommerce Thank you for watching my video.